guys just don't approach anymore. Like, just take a freaking chance. I am tired, sick and tired of this. Just come up to me and ask for my freaking name. Like, the way I think about it is either I'm ugly, which is why guys don't talk to me, or I'm like too attractive that they're. Why aren't you guys approaching women anymore? Like, I was at a bar and everyone is in their own groups, not approaching strangers. Like, the problem is the men just stare at you. They just stare at you the whole time. They don't approach you. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to, oh, do you want to drink? It's just, I don't, and you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me. You know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also. Holler at me. Modern women frustrated about men refusing to approach them. Imagine this. You're out, looking your best, waiting for someone to approach you, but nothing. More and more modern women are frustrated and confused about why men aren't making the first move anymore. What's going on here? Have men lost their nerve? Or is there something deeper at play? Stay tuned as we break down the real reasons behind this dating dilemma and what it means for everyone looking for love today. I have a question. Why are so many men so scared of approaching women nowadays? Why are so many men scared of approaching women nowadays? It could be that men have had one too many encounters with the terrifying resting judgment face. You know the look, like they've just seen someone walk a muddy dog through their freshly cleaned house. Or maybe it's the fear of being blasted on social media with a caption that reads, this dude actually thought he had a chance. In the age of viral memes and relentless scrutiny, it's no wonder guys are a little hesitant. The real MVPs are the ones who can still muster the courage to say hello without sweating through their shirts. The way I think about it is either I'm ugly, which is why guys don't talk to me, or I'm like too attractive that they're intimidated, which is why they don't talk to me. And I don't think I'm ugly, so I'm going to go with option number two. I don't think I'm ugly, so I'm going to go with option number two. Talk about self-confidence. She's playing the dating game with the kind of swagger that says, I'm Beyonce's long-lost twin, but hey, maybe it's not that simple. Guys aren't all that great at decoding social cues, especially when those cues are wrapped up in layers of sass and sarcasm. And let's face it, sometimes it's less about appearance and more about the fear of rejection. After all, approaching someone can feel like jumping into a pool of sharks, who also have Twitter accounts. I am tired. I am tired of the men that just don't go for it. They, they're just so scared. They think that they're gonna get rejected when it's like, bruh, like, just take a freaking chance. I am tired, sick and tired of this. Just come up to me and ask for my freaking name. Like, okay, like you get rejected. Like, I'm sorry, like it happens. It happens to me. But just, just, just take a chance. Guys, just, just take a chance. Just get some confidence. Like, just take a chance. Just take a freaking chance. She's practically waving a neon sign that says, Act now. It's like she's hosting a dating telethon, and you're the only caller. But seriously, taking a chance doesn't have to be terrifying. Think of it as an adventure, like skydiving, but without the risk of plunging to your death. And if you do crash and burn, remember, every epic fail makes for a great story later. So, roll the dice, spin the wheel, and remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. See, I'm about to go out and, you know, it's Saturday night. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling like I look good. My hair is freshly washed and pressed. So if you see me out and, you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me, you know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also, holler at me. Otherwise, I'm going to go home by myself again tonight. <laughs> but I'm going to wake up single tomorrow again. Damn. If you see me out, holler at me. I'm giving you the green light, the go ahead, the don't just stand there like a scarecrow signal. This is a rare opportunity, like finding a $20 bill in your winter coat pocket. If you see her, don't overthink it, just go for it. Worst case scenario, you walk away with a funny story. Best case scenario, you just met someone amazing. So next time, instead of panicking and pretending to check your non-existent text messages, take a deep breath and say hi. Why aren't you guys approaching women anymore? Like I was at a bar and everyone is in their own groups, not approaching strangers. Like not one guy, not even just for me, not one guy went up to a girl and just started talking to her. It was so weird. And I'm like, how am I supposed to meet people? 
How am I supposed to meet people? Welcome to the 21st century, where meeting people has become as complicated as assembling IKEA furniture without the manual. Between swiping left and right, ghosting, and the occasional catfish, it's no wonder traditional social skills have taken a nosedive. Sure, bars are an option, but who's got the energy after a long week of pretending to enjoy kale smoothies and spin classes? Maybe the trick is to start small, like making eye contact and not immediately looking at your phone. Radical, right? This society is changing a lot, and oh. even when we see a guy out that we think is cute, a lot of times they won't even walk up to us because no, they're they intimidated. And I don't know. And like, could... That's weird to me because we, I don't know. I think that's part of being a female is you want to feel like you're being chased. I, or like... I feel like guys do the chasing and girls like I'm the, the I'm the tequila, not the lime. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So you have to like, I'm not going to chase, you know what I mean? Like I'm the tequila, not the lime. Now, this is a statement. She's the tequila, packing a punch and looking for someone who can handle the burn. But here's the twist. Even tequila needs a chaser. It's all about balance, folks. So while she's busy being the life of the party, maybe it's time to appreciate the lime too. A little sweetness, a bit of zest, and just the right amount of bite to complement the strong stuff. After all, Tequila without lime is just a shot. Add a lime, and it's a fiesta. You know what I want to talk about, you guys? So, I live in New York, specifically Brooklyn, and I be outside, you know, enjoying summer as I should. And I've been going to the block parties, all of that good stuff, you know, the day parties has been a time. But the problem is the men just stare at you. They just stare at you the whole time. They don't approach you. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to... Oh, do you want to drink? It's just a staring contest the whole time. I'm trying to figure out how am I supposed to meet my future husband if the men are not approaching? Because I'm not approaching a man. Like, it's giving the men want to be chased now. That's what it's giving, and I don't like it. It's just a staring contest the whole time. Oh boy, the old stare until she acknowledges my existence technique. Classic, but not very effective. It's like playing the world's most awkward game of peekaboo, except no one is winning. Some guys might think they're channeling James Dean's brooding gaze, but it's coming off more like a deer in headlights. Here's a tip, fellas. A genuine smile goes a long way. It's the difference between, I might be a serial killer, and I'm a nice guy who would love to chat. My friends say it that guys just don't approach anymore. Like in the past, maybe a guy would approach and come up to them, ask for the number. Once in a while it happens for me, but of course, like not as much as previously. And obviously, a guy can literally open up his Instagram app, search up girls in the city that he's in, go like a bunch of their photos on each of their pages. So you go on like 20 really pretty girls' pages. And then eventually one might follow back or like some photos back. And that is a hell of a lot easier for a guy and way less amount of rejection than to go up to a girl on the street. But if a guy is coming up to you on the street and even if you're not interested in him, thank him and be kind because it does take a lot of nerve to go up to someone and do that. And I do believe that real men still approach. But if a guy is coming up to you on the street, it does take a lot of nerve. Absolutely. Approaching someone on the street is like walking into a lion's den with a stake around your neck. You never know what reaction you're going to get. Maybe you'll be met with a smile, or maybe a look that could freeze fire. But that's the thrill of it all, right? So guys, if you've got the nerve to step up, you deserve a medal. Or at least a polite smile. And to the ladies, a little kindness goes a long way. It takes guts to put yourself out there.